Alright, so today I will be showing you how how to fix this glitch with Asphalt 7 that you might have experienced if you downloaded it from this this app on the iPod called Free App Daily. Um, you will notice if you download it from there that it says the file is too large to download even though you well for me at least I had enough room to download it I had 2.3 gigabytes free on my iPod while the file for Asphalt is only 1.1 gigabyte so I should have been able to download it but it still said I didn't have enough room and I ended up deleting a bunch of stuff that I could have saved but if I realized this fix earlier so what you gotta do uh, first is go on your iTunes and this could go on your iTunes for Windows or for Mac it works for both this fix because I got my friend uh, my friend uh, he experienced this quiz too and it worked for him so what you gotta do is sign into your iTunes account and once it says you signed in let's wait for it to load and once you've uh, if you've downloaded this app and if you've redeemed the token for this app on the free app daily application you should see it down here click on purchased and on the right for me it says new next to it click on purchased and what you want to go to is go to apps and look around to find asphalt it's right there or you can type it in right here so I've already downloaded it, but what you gotta do is there should be a little cloud like this. You wanna click that cloud and then it'll start downloading from here. And for me, the way to download for me and my friend, the way to download it was about it was about an hour, depending on your internet connection. My internet connection my internet connection kinda slow. So it might be faster for you, it might be even slower, but so once it's done downloading there, what you gotta do is take uh, take the USB cable that comes with your iPod or iPhone. I got it. I right, plug it in your iPod and plug the USB port into the USB port on the computer, and then just wait for your device to pop up here. And this is mine. It's an iPod click on it and it'll say a bunch of info about your things look I delete a bunch of stuff now basically I don't have apps I used to have a bunch of music and stuff but anyway um, so I don't know if you need to but I would update it to 5.1.1 you would click that here but mine's already up to date and what you want to do is if you click on these tabs up here, it will show you all the games that have uh, that have downloaded that you've downloaded on uh, iTunes and sync to iTunes. If you've plugged in your iPod or iPhone before, and if you haven't, okay, let me put it this way: if you've downloaded the apps to your iPhone or iPod directly, it won't show up on here. But don't worry about that. Uh, and then go to music if you want to sync music, click on that, movies, whatever, I don't have any. So just go to apps, and then scroll down to all the apps that you want. And the apps that you absolutely want to keep, put a check next to them, or else you will, you'll still have the game, but you'll lose all the data for it. Um, so here's Asphalt, and once this is done downloading, uh, once it's done downloading up here, It'll pop up here, and then you click the check check mark, and then after that, click all the check marks next to the games you want to keep, and then you just click sync. All right. So once it's done syncing, you'll no longer see the progress bar, and then you click on your screens, and uh. You'll see it here, but I already moved it to this file. Uh, and then now you should have Asphalt 7 on your iPod.